We uh, return now back to one of our top stories this afternoon. The Supreme Court blocking President Biden's vaccine mandate for businesses of a certain size, but allows a vaccine mandate for most health care workers. Let's talk about this with North Central College political science professor Stephen Caliendo. Thanks for being back with us. Good to see you. I first want to talk about the loss, pretty big loss for the Biden administration. The court blocking that OSHA rule that would have had required businesses that have more than 100 employees to make sure workers were vaccinated or tested weekly. Kind of break down the ruling on this for us. It's important to remember that what the Supreme Court is asked to do is not to say whether there, there should be um, uh, testing or whether there should be vaccines or not in the workplace. It was whether or not uh, the Biden administration, uh, through the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, uh, could require employers, that is, force them uh, to, and fine them if they, if they don't do it, uh, to require workers to have a vaccine or a test. And, and the court said, uh, along ideological lines, uh, that they could not. So that doesn't mean that uh, workers won't be required to have uh, uh, vaccines uh, or, or, um, or tests. Uh, individual employers could do that. It's just that they will not be uh, forced by the federal government uh, to do so. Mr. Caliendo, is this surprising given the, you, you mentioned these, uh, the decision was made along ideological lines there, given the makeup of the court, is this a surprising ruling in your mind? It's, it's not, and, and it's partly because, you know, so much of what's decided at the court and so much about our, our divisions in the country are really about how much government. How much can government do? How much should government be doing? And uh, so essentially what the conservative uh, justices ruled in this case was that this was an overreach uh, by the Biden administration. There, there, is, a rule, there is a role for government. Uh, conservatives believe that. Uh, conservatives want military and want to, us to have roads and public parks and so forth, uh, but not too much government. And what the conservative justices said here was this is too much government. So some of those conservatives, though, then sided with the liberal justices on another ruling here that upheld the vaccine mandate for most health care workers in our country. Explain how we got two different rulings. It was interesting, and it was interesting, not so much that Justice Roberts sided with the, with the liberals, but it was Justice Kavanaugh. We might have expected maybe if it was going to be another one, maybe Justice Gorsuch, but it was Justice Kavanaugh who, who came over on a 6-3 decision to say, no, with respect to health care workers, this is an appropriate thing to do. It's fine for government uh, to, to do this for the Medicare and Medicaid group because uh, these are tax-funded dollars going. Uh, and, and so there's a, there's a role for the federal government. And because it is about public health and these are health workers, uh, it is appropriate and acceptable uh, for the administration to require uh, the workers in those particular settings, health care settings, nursing homes, et cetera, to, to have a vaccine mandate or to be tested on a regular basis. In terms of the scope of these rulings, uh, how big of an impact uh, would this have had uh, had it gone through? How many American workers are, are affected by today's rulings? Well, it'll be hard to know exactly how many will be ultimately affected. I think there were there were some 80 million workers that were to be uh, under you know, that would have been affected uh, if the mandate went into effect. We can't use that number necessarily because we don't know how many of those employers will continue to have a vaccine mandate or testing requirements um, because lots do already and many others may uh, continue to do that. It, it's simply the case that if they wish not to, they will not be forced to, they will not be penalized for not having that mandate now. Uh, and so, you know, without a good survey of all, all the um, employers that would have been uh, affected, and it was anybody, any employer that was had more than 100 employees. Uh, so those aren't huge businesses necessarily. These are medium-sized businesses. Uh, without a survey of those to know what they would have done uh, or what they plan to do now, uh, we may get more, more um, uh, a little bit more insight on that in the coming weeks. Yeah, and the Biden administration said millions of people did get the vaccine, seeing that these rules were lying ahead. 17 million affected by that health care one, so a lot of people. Dr. Uh, Dr. Didn't, Callian, didn't want to miss so a much. paycheck. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Thanks so much thank for you. being here.